Hello, this is Steven from Online Unlocks, and in this tutorial we'll present you a very special root method. I call it special because of two reasons. First of all, solves a hard problem to crack before, rooting the Xperia devices, especially those with uh, locked bootloader. I'm referring to new phones like Xperia Z1, Z2. And secondly, because uh, it solves a personal problem, it rooted my personal device. First we have to go to the written tutorial, there you'll find the files needed to download. But before starting to download, anything will show you the settings you need to do on your phone. So go to settings about and tap 7 times on the build number. I already did that before, so I'm a developer. After you get the message that you're a developer, go to settings, developer options and select USB debugging. After that go back to settings, security and enable unknown sources. To understand better the importance of this root method, I will demonstrate how trying to root just with tower root didn't work. So we'll just go to towerroot.com. Tower root is a very powerful root method and already done a tutorial special for it. But uh, seems for some Xperia devices needs a little help. Just uh, open any browser and go to tower root website. Then press on the big lambda sign to download the application. After the file is downloaded, open it and install it. Press the install anyway button when it asks. Once installed, open it and press the big make a train button. As you can see, tower root shows that routing was successful. Problem comes after installing SuperSU and I'll show you right away. To install SuperSU, just open Play Store and search for SuperSU of course. The first application should be the one we needed, SuperSU from Chainfire. Install it and uh, as soon as the installation is done, open it. Ok, so here's the problem. As you can see from here, SU binary is not installed, so we need another approach beside Tower Root. And this is exactly what I will give you in this tutorial. So download the root software and the Sony drivers. I will show you how to install drivers manually so we'll download the driver especially for my device if it seems easier to you to install the sony drivers by installing the sony pc companion just go ahead and install it important is at the end to have in device manager the sony adb device showing so after downloading the program and the drivers Go ahead and uh, extract the files because they are archives and uh, you cannot use them unless extracted. You can use the built-in Windows extractor or any installed program like 7-zip. I recommend uh, extracting them on the desktop to be easier to get to. I'll just uh, connect the phone to the computer and open device manager. As you can see it is detected as an ADB device. In your case, if no driver is installed, will show as an unknown device. So right click on it and press the update driver software. Then browse my computer for driver software and select the folder with the drivers you just downloaded. Then press next and the driver will install automatically and will show as a Sony ADB device in your device manager. Once the drivers are installed, you can open the program folder and press on the install bot file, right click on it to run it as administrator. You should see on your phone that is asking to allow debugging, press permanently allow for this PC. Seems the routing is still not working, but I think uh, I know the problem. The antivirus is stopping the root program, so I will go ahead and stop it while I perform the root. If this happens to you, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Once this problem is solved, you can go ahead and run again the program. Seems this time is working perfectly. As you see, it's doing everything by itself. Once has got to cleaning up, you can be pretty sure the routing has ended and you can give it a try on the phone to see if anything has changed. So if you haven't uh, installed um, SuperSU until now, you can go ahead and install it. I'll just uh, reopen it. As you can see, is no longer saying that SuperSU binary was not found, but to update it. When it will ask you to update SU binary, just select the normal method and wait. You might get uh, an error like I did, saying that uh, SU binary couldn't be updated. To fix the, this, you just have to restart the phone and 
you will see that Super Sue is working after restarting. After the phone has finished rebooting, just uh, reopen again Super Sue. As you can see in my case, is uh, not showing any warning. That's a good sign. But to be totally sure that the phone is rooted, we'll just install a root checker from Play Store. Grant root access when you see the pop-up on your phone screen. And the confirmation is here. Phone was successfully rooted. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. For any question, please leave a comment below. And if you need your phone unlocked, you can find us at onlineunlocks.com.